Okay, every time uh, I come here to talk, um, I will be worrying about, you know, uh, Gene is going to have a hook, hooking me off the, from the podium, okay. So, <clears throat> so uh, uh, my name is Alex Jen. I'm the Swiss leader for Swiss One. That's uh, electro-optical materials and all optical materials and devices, Swiss. But I also, I'm also serving as a project leader for 1.1. That's related to electro-optical material and devices. I think this is a very timely uh, uh, opportunity uh, for us to talk about this, right? Because uh, when I, as soon as I arrive here, people talk to me, said, okay, it's very difficult to lock on the internet, the speed is extremely slow, but then this is exactly what we are working about, okay? So uh, if you look at here, right? Have you ever had the experience today? Okay, try to lock on something, try to download something, and you watch the very slow blue bar moving and being frustrated, okay? So this is exactly the experience we try to, uh, you know, uh, try to provide you some solution, okay? And the title is how to address the challenges of a quadruple, quadruple rate of growth of a global uh, internet traffic. This is uh, uh, actually the news from the New York Times in 2008, okay, talking about by 2011, okay, it's going to have a quadruple rate of internet uh, uh, traffic. And if you look at that, the reason why you know, the traffic has been increased uh, dramatically, if you look at that, everybody now start to use the internet for video, internet for you know, the game, and also for you know, the, all those uh, uh, file sharing. Okay? So that is really occupy a lot of bandwidth for internet. If you look at that, just one video site, okay? Uh, YouTube was estimated to consume entire bandwidth of the year 2000 internet, okay? So how many of you watch uh, uh, Susan Boyer sing on YouTube, right? <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I think that a lot of people hit those uh, uh, YouTube, okay? So this is uh, exactly, you know, type of a thing we are trying to work on, okay? And, uh, it, because uh, I'm not going to really touch on the from a scientific point of view, but then really try to give you a very brief down to the earth uh, introduction about what we are doing. And uh, first step, okay, uh, in order to address those uh, internet uh, jam, okay, is to provide a solution by what? By molecular engineering of the uh, uh, from molecular level, non optical chromophore, to provide high speed information processing. Okay, if you look, this is a chromophore. It consists of the electron donor and the with conjugate bridge with very strong electron acceptors. Okay? So as a result, you have very strong polarization charge transfer from the donor to the acceptor, and that create relatively large dipole also. So the intrinsic speed okay, uh, for polarization of this kind of molecule is almost instantaneous in the femtosecond scale. Okay? So one of the, my collaborators, uh, the founder of the, the Lumera, okay, uh, talked to me about you know, if we can successfully in realizing uh, the speed of uh, using electro-optical material to solve, you know, the internet uh, traffic, okay? Do you know what kind of speed we are talking about? He's talking about we can download equivalent of six DVD uh, equivalent information in one second, okay? Okay, so this is dramatic. Then you can start to imagine what kind of a way can people ch change your daily uh, operation, daily life, okay, by, based on this. But in order to have this kind of uh, uh, effect, okay, uh, because this kind of molecule create relatively large dipole, in order to have this uh, non-optical effect, called second order non-optical effect, you need to have an eccentric order, okay, means a uh, non-central symmetric order like this, okay. However, you know, all those large dipole because of it, very strong intermolecular electrostatic interaction, they tend to pack just like this, okay? As a result, you need to find a, a very efficient way to orient those dipole, okay? So commonly uh, employed way to orient the dipole in the, uh, in the polymer matrix, okay? Because you cannot just utilize one molecule to make a device, right? So in order to really realize this non-central symmetry, okay? You try to do that in the book, mac macroscopic level, right? So that, what do you do? You take molecular dipole, disperse them into the polymer, and find a way to orient that, okay? So what do you do is you disperse that into the polymer and try to heat up your polymer to close to glass transition temperature. At that temperature, you start to have long range chain motion and provide some of the room for those dipole to move around. When you apply electrophile, okay? 
all those dipoles can be oriented to a similar uh, direction, okay? Then when you start to slowly cool down uh, your uh, uh, temperature, okay? So return from rubbery state to glassy state, okay? So that sort of fix those uh, aligned dipole in place, okay? However, this is a aligned dipole is a not a thermodynamically stable state, okay? If you don't have effective mechanism to lock them in place, then through time, those dipoles will slowly decay, okay? And in order to become just a, uh, a become the zero, okay, of the non-central symmetry, okay? So, with that said, you know, uh, this touch in the one of the very important part of the, uh, this uh, project is talking about introduce macroscopic electro-optical activity based on this uh, uh, equation talking about Paco coefficient, okay? The electro-optical coefficient, R33, in, in order to get a very large number of this, you need to simultaneously optimize the number density of your core morphine, and the beta means the hyperpolarizability, how polarizable that molecule is, and cosine cubic theta is a polar order. How, how efficient can you align those uh, uh, dipole, okay? As a result, you can see that all three, those parameters need to be optimized simultaneously. However, this kind of, uh, few, this is three parameter, it's uh, actually contradictory to each other, right? If you have a relatively large beta, means you have a relatively large hyperpolarizability, then you have large dipole, okay? So if you put large dipole chromophore into your uh, polymer matrix, few of those things get around, then immediately they have very strong intermolecular electrostatic interaction, then they pack anti-parallelly, and then it's very difficult to align them, okay, efficiently. So the cosine cubic theta will be very small, okay? So in order to do that, people are trying to utilize approach to use like shape engineering, self-assembly, or try to improve the compatibility of your chromophore with your polymers. And this is a, actually a very well-known uh, uh, graph, okay, actually uh, coming from the uh, work from uh, Larry Dalton and also Bruce Robinson, okay, talking about you know, for conventional uh, chromophore, you have large dipole chromophore. When you start to increase number density of a chromophore, and when you use electro field to align that, originally you can see electro optical coefficient will be increased according to the number density increase, right? However, when you reach to a certain stage, then you start to, those dipoles start to see each other and then start to pack each other. Even you put more and more, then you actually have detrimental uh, effect to your electro optical coefficient, okay? So, in order to solve that, in the past uh, uh, several years within the STC, we are trying to do the shape engineering and also try to do the, uh, some uh, self-assembly work related to uh, this uh, uh, type of material. First, you take a chromophore, make it more spherical with a dendron, okay, allow them to easier to be pulled. While you use a multi-arm uh, chromophore containing dendromer with uh, peripheral functionality there, allow you to cross link during the polling, okay? As a result, you can get a, a side isolation effect, but also can be crosslink to enhance your thermal stability. And also you can use dendronized polymer, try to self-assemble into the, uh, those, uh, five minutes, okay. So into the, like a rich rod type of uh, uh, structure, allow you to pull them more efficiently, okay? 